In this video, I'm going to expose these tech support scammers, how much money they make a month, how they run their scam, and I even have photos. These tech support scammers are out of New Delhi, India, and they prey on unsuspecting victims via fake virus pop-ups. The victims will then call the scammers up where the scammer will say there's a virus on their computer and they have to pay a sum of money in order to clean the system. The scammer's payouts range from $200 to $1,000 per victim. When you look at this file, you can see that in one month, the scammers made almost $23,000. That's a quarter of a million dollars for just a five-person call center. Pay close attention to the data here. The scammers will target previous victims and try to upsell them, as you can see here, to more expensive packages. This is why it's so critical to get victim information. If I can find a victim and let them know that they've been scammed and educate them, then they're not going to be scammed again. One of the text files had full names that matched the names on the incentive list that allowed me to track down these photos. I know in the last exposed video, a lot of folks asked why we blurred the scammer's photo. We were required due to YouTube's terms of service. And without that blur, this video would be taken down. I was able to not only get critical information as to how the scam is run, but even a possible connection to the United States. On the scammer's computer, there was an address to a PO box in New Jersey. And if the scammers are unable to get a debit or credit card transaction going, they'll have their victims send a physical check to this address as opposed to going for gift cards. Now, let's go jump into the call and see how all of this unfolded live. Thank you for calling Superk. This is Ben. How can I help? Hi, Ben. Um, I seem to be having some type of difficulty on my system and some code. All right. So it's a table computer. How old is it? Um, it's got to be eight or nine years old. All right. So it's old. Oh, honey, you can't tell someone that they're old. <laughs> it's no, 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 it's the computer. I'm asking. I'm. T I'm saying about the computer is old. Oh, now. okay. Yeah. No, I mean you don't tell a woman she's old. That's. I thought you were saying I'm old. <laughs> No, no, no. No, I didn't tell you. I was talking about the computer. All righty. Now, do one thing. Look on the computer keyboard, ma'am. At the bottom of the corner, can you see the CTRL key? Yes. To the right of the CTRL, what do you see? Honey, you sound like a robot or something. Are you having connectivity problems? No, no, no. All right. I'm going to go very slow with you. What is the next key to the CTRL? I'm going to start calling you Mr. Robot. <laughs> um, it looks like it says shift. Um, can I say something without being rude, just because it's almost the weekend? Uh, can you pretend to be a robot while we go through this? And, like, you will talk like this to me? All righty. You are on the right page now. Do you see where it says open? Yes, I do. And now click on OK. Click on OK at the bottom left. Do I click on the command OK? Do you see where it says OK? Cancel browse. Yes, execute OK. You are a good robot, Roboto. It's going <laughs> to... So go ahead and type over there, www. Any A N Y A N Y desk D E S K. Um, it popped up. It says anydex.com, anywhere, any place, any decks. Is that right? Do you see what it? Do you see what it says? Download now. Uh, yes, Roboto. Click on download now. Is that you on my computer? Yes, that is me on your computer. Just a minute. Okay. Hold on a minute now. Okay. D as in David. You still with me? Yes. Any 
Okay. Yeah, I, honey, I have any Leave decks. Him Leave him. I have any decks, though. That's what I'm saying. I want you to leave the mouse, ma'am. Leave your mouse. Okay. Do I? What else do I need to be clicking on, though? So as you saw, um, I was on their system, um, and I was their connection is so slow, so I couldn't download their files really quickly. Um, and then they booted me out of the connection, so I'm not going to push it too hard right now. You still with me? Yes. What do you see on the computer screen? Um, I just see any decks. Let me go ahead and check a few things over here. Bear with me, ma'am. Okay. Do you have the access to my computer? Yes, I do. Do you have the access of my computer? Yes, I do. Can you see my computer, ma'am? Yes. What do you see? I got the info. I saw your Netflix passwords. I saw you have two Netflix accounts. I got your Excel files with your victims on them, and I'm going to call them all. Oh, my insomnia, my insomnia. Keep your any decks open. You hear me, Ben Roboto? I have your Netflix information, which you steal Netflix okay. too from people. And those are some cool backgrounds too that you have on your computer. Ben, you have a Netflix account. I I have your Netflix account. What is the name of the Netflix account? Okay, let me pull it up. Hold on. Um, the name of the Netflix. Uh, let's see here. Because I'm on your computer. So, um, okay. The name of your Netflix. Let's see here. You have a Netflix.txt file. Um, and one of your passwords is support at 123, and the other password's tech1234. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. I, this is for you, ma'am. Oh, this I'm is for me. I'm giving for you. Oh, thank you. Okay. Um, and then you have your firewall security.exe file that you run on people's computers. <laughs> and then you've got you Darth, got you have the Darth Vader background on your computer. Look at <laughs> which, which do you have? You have the Darth Vader a background on your computer with the lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> and then you, and then you've got some. Are you, you're not the fan of Star Wars. You've got this other. What is this? Uh, who's this other lady? You've got some lady playing chess. You're playing checkers, and I'm playing chess oh, and checkmate. <laughs> checkmate. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> no, that's not checkmate. I'm the grandmaster, ma'am. You're not the grandmaster. No, I've got your uh, your book one that's auto saved your Excel file with your victims on it. I've got another book, uh, book one dot xlsx with victim information. Um, the boys season two. What is that? Wow. Um, so I, I can get back on if you'd let me back on. That'd be great. Ben Carter. I have your direct line and your extension number and your mailing address where you guys uh, uh, filter money through when you money launder through New Jersey. So now I'm going to report that to the authorities as well. <laughs> you can do that? <laughs> yes, honey. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's and what so else good. you got? What? Yeah, I'm not going to tell you the rest of what I have. Don't worry. <laughs> Here, let me back on Yanny Dex, okay? Is that okay, honey? Ben, Roboto, pretend to be a robot for me. You'll be the robot. I'll get. Nobody got a Mr. Robot. Man, please let me onto your computer. I would like for you to access my files. Please, ma'am. Let me give you my Anydex password without me knowing. Ma'am, please download all of my victim information. 
Ah, oh, that was so good. He's super pissed. So, um, really quickly, I want everyone to see what we did. What I say to him in Hindi, I said, I understand everything that he's saying. So he was starting to curse me and say that like bad things about me to his uh, coworker. And I said that I understand you can delete files and stuff, but think about two things that we did there. Download the files. So that allows us to get the money laundering address, the PO box that they use. The second thing is the way that we got onto his system. So I was watching him watch me. Now you can do that and that's all good and well for the stream. But really what I wanted to do was get in and cause some damage. So I could have just sat there and watched the screen, but I knew at some point he probably would have realized I was messing with him. We got files off the computer. So now I have the Excel file with information. I'm going to go through that and review it later today. And then we also got that PO box. I'm going to report that to the authorities that that PO box is being used for fraudulent scams. There is no better feeling than gathering information on these scammers and exposing to the world how they run their criminal schemes. My name is Pierogi. This has been Scammer Payback.